What's going on guys? Today I am doing a small project to complete the Super Sport conversion of my 2007 Yamaha FZ6 and that is to modify the tire hugger to give it a more sporty look. And I think that it should be a great finish to my now Super Sport FZ6. Um, so let's get to it. So to do a simple job like this, there's only three steps. First of all, you need to draw on the design that you want onto your tire hugger, just so you know exactly what it's gonna look like before you start cutting, which is step two. Step two is just to cut it out, um, get it a nice rough cut. Step three is to sand it, polish it, smooth it, so it looks as good as it can be. Um, and then you stick it back on your bike and you're all set to ride. So right now, I'm just drawing on um, the design of the tire hugger that I want. Um, so since it is more of a super sport style that I'm looking for, I do want it to be a little bit more angular, a little bit shorter, just so you see more of the rear wheel. The stock for the FZ6, it's a standard touring bike, um, so it's longer, has more curves. But since I do want that super sport look, um, I'm doing it more angled, something you'd see on a CBR or a Yamaha R1. Okay, so now that you have it drawn on exactly how you want it, let's get the saw and we can start cutting it out. Alright, so the last step is just to sand it and give it its final touches. Um, clearly, if you sand it with a rougher sandpaper, it's going to be just a little bit rough still around the edges and you can actually see the grain of the sandpaper kind of working. So what we're going to do is just take a really fine sandpaper, grit 600, 1000, um, whatever you want to do, however smooth you want to get it. And we're just going to smooth this really nicely um, until it looks like it's, it's stock smooth. All right, so it's nice and smooth, and it has all the finishing touches that I like. Um, so I'm gonna just wash it off. Maybe I'll repaint it, and I'll stick it right back on. So after I sanded the edges and got everything exactly how I wanted it to be, I went ahead and put two coats of black paint um, on it just to match the black of the bike. And the last thing I'm going to do before I put it back on the bike is add some racing stripe decals. Um, I always like the, the look of those. I did some design work and it's gonna look absolutely awesome with these decals on the tire hugger. Um, so I'm totally excited about them. I do make decal kits online. So if you do want one, just hit me up. Um, I'll, I'll hook you up. So let's go ahead and get, this, get these on. And as always with decals, you need to be sh exactly sure where you want it before you stick them on because they are a little bit tougher to get off. Alright guys, that is after the decal and after it's been painted, it looks freaking awesome. So I'm going to get this back on the bike um, and we are all done. Alright. Awesome. So for the 2007 to 2009 FZ6, um, there's only two two bolts you need to um, bolt back in um, to get the tire hugger off and on. Um, it is easy right here. And the second one goes right here. There's two on this side. One goes in right in the front here. One goes right in the back. Also holds on the brake line. Make sure the brake line is going over the tire hugger, not underneath it. All right, well, in my opinion, that looks way better than it did before. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Uh, if you found this helpful, just leave me a thumbs up. That'd be great. And if you have an FC6 as well, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more maintenance and modification videos. Um, that being said, I'll see you in the next video.